Hello, welcome back. Um, today's video I want to talk a little bit about the differences between the uh, GC initial LISI focus, there we go, um, and the Emacs block. There we go. Um, I have been a heavy user of Emacs for years and years and years, as many of us have. Um, the GC initial LISI lithium silicate block came out on the market and uh, many of us have started using it quite a bit. I have also, but I wanted to give some feedback and follow-up. Um, many of us, you know, when Emacs came out, it was tried and true. It was the one and true material for all indications. Um, of course, now that we can mill and manufacture in office zirconia, many of us have started to use zirconia. Um, these are obviously CEREC blocks um, for use in CEREC in office CAD CAM systems. Good, good blocks, good materials good systems. Um, let me give you some thoughts about my particular feelings about uh, the GC Initial LISI. I love it. It's a great material. It polishes well. looks beautiful. Um, you know, they come in LT and HT. The, the choices, the shade choices are a little bit different depending on HT or LT. Um, they don't quite have as many uh, shade choices as Emacs does per se. Um, but I, I really like this material. The more I use it, the more I like it. Um, it's not quite, based on my reading of the material, the data that's out there, it's not quite as strong from a flexural standpoint as Emacs, um, so they're not essentially equivalent. Let me say that again. They're not essentially equivalent um, from a chemistry standpoint, from a flexural strength standpoint. Um, however, I personally feel like they can generally be used interchangeably in many indications. Now, ultimately, this falls on the clinician to make sure that you, as the clinician, are doing your research and that you're using the materials appropriately and that you're... Um, you know, preparing the tooth appropriately, the reduction is, is what's recommended, etc., etc. Um, you don't want to be doing anything that is practicing below the standard of care or putting your patients at risk. Um, but for me, I have no qualms about using the initial LISI block um, on a second molar um, as long as the occlusion is managed and it's bonded in place. Same for Emacs. Um, I mean, I still primarily use Emacs. I'm probably using 80% Emacs and 20% of the GC initial LISI block, which again, I like a lot. Ooh, we'll focus, there we go. Um, but good material. So uh, other questions that I've had are um, about my bonding protocol. And so I'll talk a little bit about that in the next video. But from a standpoint of which material to use, oops, let me turn that over, which material to use in which indication, I think based on my clinical experience thus far, the GC initial LISI is essentially equivalent to the Emacs block um, from a usability standpoint. Strength-wise, it's not the same. Emacs rates higher based on the studies um, that are out there in my experience. Emacs rates higher um, in strength. Um, but here's the consideration, here's a question. How much strength actually do you need? Um, you know, do we need 10 million megapascals of flexural strength? Would that make you happy? Um, or do we need 400 or 500 or 600 or 750 or 900 or 1400, you know, wh where is your comfort level with the strength um, of uh, your material that you're using? When you consider, you know, a standard tooth, the enamel, uh, the, the enamel and dentin matrix is 160 to 170 megapascals of flexural strength. Why do we need to go to, you know, 1600 megapascals when we can have 400 or 500 right here every single time and have a really great outcome. So things to consider. Um, next video, I'll talk a little bit about my bonding protocol. I do believe firmly in bonding these materials. I think it's an excellent um, long-term outcome and provides a really great um, solution for the teeth uh, that we're restoring. Um, but just as a recap, I like the GC Initial LISI. I'd use it in almost every indication that I'd use Emacs. Um, I still tend to lean toward Emacs as my primary workhorse in the, in the practice, um, but I don't have any qualms about using the GC initial lie side like I maybe did initially. Um, I feel like it's roughly generally equivalent, um, although there are some distinct chemical property differences between the two. So, thanks!